This video compares SPI flash read speed between Ulink NT and USB JTAG NT under the different USB hub and different USB port. In this demo, I'm going to show the programming for SPI flash FL256 32 megabyte flash. Also, I'm using a breadboard here and this adapter convert the 16 pin here into the lower 8 pin as a regular 8 pin SPI flash pinout. I also need to put a capacitor here, this 1000 micro fire to filter between the ground and the power and connect this way and the U-Link or JTAG NT to read it properly. Without this capacitor, I do not get consistent read or write because um, this chip just simply need it. Otherwise, it just don't work. The connection is using um, one side is the female and the one side is male, like these, you know, Adreno type of jumpers here. here. This is Ulink NT direct connect to a USB 3.0 port. The read speed is about 1 meg, 1.01 uh, meg. So reading the entire flash takes 33 seconds. This is Ulink NT connect to a USB 1.0 hub to the 3 USB 3.0 port. This is Ulink NT go through USB 2.0 hub to the USB 2.0 port. This is Ulink NT go through USB 1.0 hub to the USB 2.0 port. This is Ulink NT direct connect to the USB 2.0 port, no hub in between. This is USB JTAG NT direct connect to the USB 2.0 port. This is USB JTAG NT go through USB 1.0 hub to the USB 2.0 port. This is USB JTAG NT go through USB 2.0 hub to USB 2.0 port. This is USB JTAG NT connect to the USB 3.0 port. This is USB JTAG NT go through USB 2.0 hub to USB 3.0 port. Okay. 
This is USB JTAG NT go through USB 1.0 hub to USB 3.0 port. This is the final result of all those data. If you look at the U-Link NT, it gets pretty much better performance on the USB 3.0 port, regardless you have the hub between or not. On the 2.0 port, if we have a 2.0 hub in between, it gets the best performance. But other than that, their speed is slightly slower. USB JTAG NT, however, uh, almost works identical with or without a hub on the USB 2.0 port or 3.0 port. Um, th unless there's one case, you know, if you have a 1.1 hub, which people probably never use it today. Uh, so the conclusion will be Ulink NT uh, are slightly better performance under certain scenarios. Even in this case, on the USB 2.0 hub, it's a slightly faster, but on the 3.0 port, it's quite a bit faster.